Skies are crying, I am watching, catching teardrops in my hands. Only silence as it's ending, like we never had a chance. Do you have to make me feel like there's nothing? Smoke clears, I awaken and entangle you from me. Would it make you feel better? Don't wash me as I bleed. All my windows are still broken. I'm standing on my feet. You can take it. Hello, my name is Brian Ladnier. I'm the Mississippi State President. What is your name and what branch did you serve in? My name is Dwight Petey. I was in the U.S. Army. What was your position? I was an E-5 medic. Have you served in any war? And if yes, which one? I was combat deployed. It was not considered a war, but I was on the Korean demilitarized zone. So, therefore, I qualified for veterans of foreign wars because it was considered continuing combat action. How long did you serve? Three years. Why did you join? I joined because my brother was a hundred percent disabled from the Vietnam War and I kind of wanted to, I don't know, I guess get revenge really, you know, but I wanted to become a medic to help other people because he was so messed up. But they wouldn't let me go to Vietnam because there's a law about surviving sons where, you know, you can't lose all your sons in, in a war and they, since he was 100% disabled it was kind of weird but they wouldn't let me go. What was your favorite part about your service? My favorite part about my service? Four of us delivered a baby in a driving monsoon rainstorm uh, while holding a candle in one hand and trying to use the other to uh, deliver a baby. It was to a Korean lady and a GI were the parents and I don't know, it was just sudden an emotional experience. So I would have to say overall it's because it was the medical things that I did in doing things for others. Was there anyone you met in the service that made a great impact on your life? I would say several of them. Several doctors, several nurses, uh, one general, kind of a crazy guy, but his name was Henry E. Emerson, and they called him the gunfighter. And I not only served him under him in Korea, but when I got back to the United States, uh, he was at Fort Bragg, and he had seen me, I don't know, do things out of all those tens of thousands of troops, and he started picking me for special assignments like good ones, fun ones. If there was one thing you could change for veterans, what would it be? The hospital system. I came here from Phoenix and I mean, I, my sister even witnessed some of the unbelievably bad stuff that happens there. And I came here and some of the same things still happen. So I think our health care, especially for us Vietnam era veterans because they're so overloaded with patients now uh, they and I understand this they want to get the Afghani and veterans here and taken care of and they want to get the Gulf War and they get but we're almost a forgotten generation again what does it mean to you to be a veteran uh, it means everything every time I look at the flag stars and the stripes in our freedom to be wrong. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of speech and action these days 
that I normally not like. I actually like detest it. But you know what? That's freedom. You have the freedom to express yourself. We have freedom of religion, freedom of speech, freedom of everything. And we soldiers were on the front lines of all those freedoms, protecting and defending them. So even though I don't agree with somebody, they have that right, and those are the rights that we, we fought and served for. What is the advice you could give anyone who wishes to join the service? Think about what you want to do in life and what the service can do for you. We're all going to get the same skills in basic training, boot camp, as far as learning how to serve together in a unit and having somebody's back and somebody having yours. We're all going to get that. But the military can take you all different kinds of places around the world and you can do all kinds of different things. So there's different reasons to join the Army. You can serve and be in the infantry, uh, and I was in the infantry, I was a combat medic, but you can serve and be in the infantry, and infantry itself doesn't have much civilian skills, you know, but you can grow and develop in the military and get leadership skills and other kinds of skills, even though you're just in the infantry. So it's not necessarily just about the job, or you can join the service and say, I want to be an x-ray tech, or you know, I want to be a weatherman, or I want to, I, you know, I can fly an airplane by remote control. I want to, I want to fly drones to the military. So there's all kinds of uh, opportunities and I think motivations uh, for going into the military. And sometimes it's just like for me, raising my hand to take your turn, do what's right and serve the country. If you had a choice, would you do it all again? I not only would do it all again, 